Welcome back to Grim 3D. If you've been paying attention to my Atomstack A48 series, you will have noticed that when I assembled the laser, I kind of got spanked a little bit. I had some camera issues, I had some memory card issues, I had battery issues, and then on my overhead camera, I completely forgot to hit record for a chunk of it. So maybe I didn't even post that one. But today, we are continuing with the series with a very short video. I am going to unbox this uh, is the Atom Stack uh, metal grate that goes underneath the printer that keeps you from burning a hole through your table or lighting your table on fire. So um, stick with me for a second. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got everything recording and all the batteries are good and all the lights are on and nothing is really going to uh, smack me down on this one. So this should be pretty simple, pretty easy. Got a little, little pocket knife here and I'm just popping open this part of the tool. So on the top here, you can see there is a metal sheet. That's awesome. Probably the backing to make sure that if anything gets through, it does not burn my table. There's some foam, those nice flat sheets of foam. I am gonna to try to figure out if they are toxic or anything, because if they are not, I might try laser cutting them uh, just for fun. So here is the grate. So that holds stuff up off of the table. And then I'm assuming that the uh, metal goes underneath it because that's the way it's supposed to go on uh, the, the laser cutter. And that looks like that's all that's in the box. So um, this comes with this little tool right here. I'm sure this is for straightening out the fins if they get bent or cleaning them up, that kind of thing. So that's pretty awesome. And then it comes with this grate right here, which you can see right through until you turn it sideways and then you pretty much got nothing. Uh, so that's just to hold everything up nicely. And then I also have, this has some little rubber feet on it. That one's not in the right place. Uh, but it also came with this bag of grommets. Uh, that, those are if you have a piece on here. So let's say I wanted to laser cut this piece and I didn't want it moving around. I could grommet that down like that. And then I could push a grommet in over here. And I'm not really laser cutting the grommets, but uh, if you get the grommets in there properly, this is a little Christmas tree grommets, uh, then you can keep your piece from moving around, that kind of stuff. So, and then they should just pull right out. Uh, I think I've seen a lot of people uh, make these little grommets, little 3D printing projects to where you could put them in and have like a little armature that you slide over. I don't know. Anyways, uh, that's pretty nice. The whole um, addition to my laser printer, huh, not laser printer, you can tell I'm a 3D printing channel, right? The whole addition to my laser cutter engraver is pretty awesome. Um, I think this is uh, actually probably stainless steel. And I'm not sure if you leave the blue protectant on it or take it off. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, not sure why all that tape was on there. Anyways, I think what I might do for now um, is I might remove one side of this blue. Uh, so this is just protective coating because I think what's supposed to happen is underneath there, it's supposed to be a shiny surface that the laser can't do too much with. So I'll leave that, I'll leave this backside on and then if it ever gets you know nasty, I'll just flip it over. So, so anyways, there you have it. That is the Atom Stack table protecting uh, great grid. It's very, looks like it's very nicely put together, nicely done, nicely colored. I'm sure I'm going to burn it up you know, not too long. I'm not ready actually to run the laser yet because I have two issues. I have number one, I have to plug it into a computer that's kind of across the room. And number two, I don't have it vented yet. 
So I have the vent out of the a window set up. I 3D printed that yesterday and this morning, and that's all ready to go. But the hose that came with the Atom Stack A48 is too short. And since I wanted to run a longer hose, I, I actually bought, uh, it's coming tomorrow, inline, uh, inline booster. So a fan, an inline uh, fan to boost the, the extraction. And it comes with a piece of hose. So I'll run a piece of hose and then put that fan somewhere on the ground and then run the other part of the, um, the hose out the window. So that should be good. Stay tuned. I got a couple more unboxings to do that I'm going to do really quick. And then uh, those will be posted pretty soon as well. And then eventually it will be time to burn it. So stay tuned for making some smoke. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, give me some thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Uh, leave me a comment, please. Uh, I really want to know what people think about this, about the laser, about the 3D printing, about the, you know, throwing the two together. Any like safety, you know, gotchas that you may have uh, noticed when you started this or any kind of advice for a newbie because um, this is brand new to me. Uh, anything you want, put it down in the comments. Just remember to keep it civil. Keep on 3D printing. Keep on laser cutting. We'll see you out there. Mm -hmm.